session one on sociology of sanitation. Chairperson is Professor Hetukar Jha, Department of Sociology, retired Professor at Patna University. Co-chairperson is Professor A. Karupia, Department of Sociology, University of Madras, Tamil Nadu. We have six speakers in this session. Sociology of Sanitation, Issues and Concerns, we have Mr. Manish Thakur. We have issues related to sanitation from the perspective of development, Dr. Sanjay Kumar Mishra and Ms. Pravli Kaur. Then we have Sanitation, Health and Development Deficit in India, Dr. Mohammad Agram. Then we have Right to Sanitation, Dignity of Women, Dr. Anil P. S. Ha. Then we have Aspirational Sphere of Sanitized Social Knowledge and Experience in Discourse of Sanitation, Dr. Sadhan Jha. Do we have Dr. Sadhan Jha? Jha, yeah, yeah. And uh, Madam, we have Sociology of Sanitation, Incorporating Gender Issues in Sanitation, Prof. Sakuntala C. Chetia. Uh, may I ask Dr. Suman, please present bouquet to chairperson, co-chairperson, our panelists. Please. Yes, I'm here. Professor Manish Thakur. Professor Manish Thakur. Dr. Sanjay Kumar Mishra, probably called. Absentee. Okay. Then we have Dr. Anil K. Jha, Dr. Mohammad Akram. We have Dr. Sadhan Jha, Dr. Sadhan Jha, Professor Sakuntala C. Shetter, Professor Sakuntala C. Shetter, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I now request Professor Ethical Jha to please. Sir, do you have any question? Yes, its recognition is remarkable by all means. Dr. Akhar is perhaps one of the few in India and who have the only man in North India who has devoted his lifetime to create and left us to this movement for changing the input practice of the strategy liberating the scavengers from their stigmatized existence and preparing them to live in dignity. Now, it seems that he considers the truth of sanitation to be pursued in broader context by blaming the schemes of their or intervention with charitable approach. His interventions so far, or others' interventions so far, have been directed by the moral demands of our culture, of our society. Now, the time has arrived that the moral demands must remain, must continue to be very, very strong. But these demands should be based on the background of the theoretical structure. And if the two are blended, then 
movement will get its energy. Movement can be sustainable. Movement can exist in the temples of knowledge and through the temples of knowledge it will, it will go to the generations in future. My feeling is that this will include before I invite the scholars to present their papers, I would like to say a few words regarding the scope of this sociology of meditation. It should include first the first topic as sanitation and civilization. This should be a historical sociological study of how sanitation has been reduced through the periods of Islam and done through the periods of history in different sanitations, including the civilization of India. It is, it, is, it, is, it is very, very remarkable that what we find today happening for the last 50 years or 30 years or 50 years or 150 years after the arrival of the British, we take it for granted that this has been happening in India for the 3,000 years. It's a fallacy. It's a fallacious approach. It's a fallacious thing that one keeps in mind. So we must examine thoroughly, theoretically, the historical sociological view of the status of civilization, sanitation in the different civilizations. Then, the second aspect that should become under the purview of the sociology of feminism is scavenging and caste. That is very important. Uh, the word in this context that was used in the Kautilya of Arthashast was also used by Manu. But that word the meaning of that word remains confined to the person who used to execute the death sentence of a person that was granted by the king. The skeleton was not taken to be a part of that. It is not mentioned. However, in the 17th century document, which is which was written by one Pandita Bhavaras of Kamlaka, Shuddha Kamlaka. There the occupation of that person, that Antyat, Antyevasi, that is the word used by these people, Antyevasi. There he mentions the occupation of Antyevasi as a scavenger. And also, surprisingly, the white person. How did this, the, the, the white person occupation come to associate with it? We don't know when. Which particular social, economic, and cultural traditions gave rise to the, to the identity, to the term of method? When it was used first? Which particular society used it first? Because untouchability and the thing that is associated with it is a variable phenomenon. If you find it in Kerala, you will find it there is a change in the degree or in quality in, the, in, in, in Bihar or in Yumi. It is a variable phenomenon. It is not, not say something which is not caused every day. Okay. When you talk of it, it is it as it is as, as the truth for the whole of North and South India. That is not true. It is variable. In Kerala, it, was, it used to be white. You may come to say that the Kerala is a bad <laughs> but in Bihar, in Bengal, it was Omer in 1911 wrote that the question of antiquity has become very popular after the publication of the book by Dwayne Mukherjee. Because it was obvious the, the British government raised the status of orthodoxy. British government installed Brahminism as the whole and sole theoretic factor. 